Hey there, folks. Last time we added the ability for poll participants to submit nominations. Today, we'll create a start poll event where the admin or creator of the poll can indicate that all of the nominations have been received and that it is time for each participant to rank these nominations in their preferred order. And for these participants to rank their nominations, we'll also add a submit rankings event so they can send in the order in which they voted the various nominations. As a reminder, you can always follow along with this course by going to Jacob S.N. Goodwin Ranker course on GitHub, and you can see some instructions for getting started here and running the application. I have a branch for each tutorial. We're on 15, so you can get the code at the end of 14 by going to this branch and cloning it. Let's just kind of review the sequence of events that our application goes through or that a poll goes through. So first, an admin creates a poll. And so the first person to create the poll becomes the admin. And then the various participants can join. Each of those participants then provide an answer or nomination to the question of the poll. And once the admin is happy that the nominations have been submitted, they can then send a start poll event to our server. Then each participant will be able to rank the various nominations. So you could say, I first want to eat at McDonald's. Second, I want to eat at Burger King. These are very lowbrow people. They don't want to eat at fancy restaurants. And after that, the admin can close the poll once they're satisfied that all of the nominations or votes are in. Then the server does a really complex computation and sends the results back to the participants and then it's over today we'll work on this start poll and submit ranking stuff so we're back in the repository and you can see from these logs that i have the application running but i'm going to hit command j i think to close that temporarily so we have more space and let's make this a little smaller so the first thing i want to do is add necessary types for the features and the first one will be for these rankings in the shared folders poll types.typescript file. So you recall that we have this folder in our NPM workspaces to share types between the client and server applications. So we want the poll to kind of share the same shape between the server and the client. So I want to uncomment these rankings and then define them. So first, I want to actually call something a nomination ID. So it's just going to be a type alias for a string. And I'll explain why we do that shortly. But let's go ahead and make this nomination ID a nomination ID. That's probably overkill because when someone gets the TypeScript help, they'll already see that this key is of type string and the name is nomination ID. So that is kind of self-explanatory. Let's now create a type for the rankings. Now, this is where making it a nomination ID will come into effect or making that type alias. So we're going to map user IDs as string to an array of nomination IDs. So each user will have in an order an array of the nomination IDs that they rank. So if Burger King is number one, then that would be a key of one is the first array element. And then McDonald's maybe could be two. So you would just have an ordered array for the rankings. And if I just put this as string, you wouldn't really know what it means. So this is maybe overkill, but just so you know why I'm doing this. Now, when we do this, this is actually going to upset one of our features, the setting of the initial poll in the polls repository. So I guess maybe it does help to have the terminal open, but let's go to polls, polls repository. And at some point we initialize the poll and this initial poll is not the proper shape. So we actually say that we're returning a promise of a poll here, which needs to have rankings. So we'll just initialize the rankings to an empty object. Let's now add the start poll feature. So we'll work from the repository down to the gateway like we have. And this is going to actually have a guarded gateway because we only want the admin to be able to start the poll. But still, let's go to the repository first. Actually, we're already here. 
And at the bottom, let's add a start pull method. Okay, so to start pull, we'll just receive a pull ID, log that the pull is started or that we're setting the has started field, which we created some time ago. We'll get the key to the poll by its ID and we'll set the has started path with a stringified JSON true. And then we'll get the full poll to return. And if there's any errors, we'll throw an internal server error exception. Let's now move to the poll service. And at the bottom, we'll add a pretty straightforward method. Don't worry, the method for submitting rankings will be a little more complex. But to start poll, we'll just call this repository dot start poll. I previously had actually added the application logic to make sure the person is an admin when removing nominations and starting a poll in these service methods. But adding that guard actually cleaned this up a lot, assuming it actually works when we connect it to our client application. Now let's go to the polls gateway. And let's add a method to start the vote. You may hear some weird noises. My dog is chewing a bone, so sorry for that. Anyhow, we will use a guard, that gateway admin guard, that makes sure the person doing this action is the actual admin. We'll then subscribe to the start vote message, and then we'll try to start the vote and add some logging, and then just hit that start poll method and return or emit the poll updated event with the updated poll. Let's now add the ability for each participant to submit their rankings. Let's go back to the polls repository. And actually, before we do that, we will need to add a type for the shape of the argument that we pass to the method because it will not be something like a simple string. And we do that in our polls types TypeScript file. Now, all our repository types, remember, are suffixed with data. And so at the end of our repository types, let's add a new one. Export type, add participant rankings data. Kind of a long name, but I guess that's just the format that I've been using. Let's go back to polls repository. And add our method at the bottom. Let's see what this does. Again, this will be pretty straightforward. Let's import that type we just added. I clearly opened, <laughs> hit the wrong combo there. Command period. There we go. And so we'll take the poll ID, user ID, and rankings off of the add participant data. We'll destructure those. We'll add a little logging, and we'll get the rankings path of dot rankings. And remember that it's going to be a user ID mapped to an array of nomination IDs. So that's how we get the path by user ID. And we'll set the key at that path to the actual array of rankings that will be submitted. And then we'll return the poll and we'll handle any errors as we have before. Looks like I just have a prettier suggestion, so I'll just save and do auto formatting to fix whatever that was. Now let's go to the poll service. And for this, we're going to add a submit rankings method. So let's add a submit ranking fields to our types. Our fields are above our repository data types. So let's say submit ranking fields and it's a pull ID, user ID, and array of string for the rankings. Now, we could probably just then go and make our add participant rankings data equal to this type, but I'll leave them separate for now. We'll add the method as follows. So first, we'll import this submit rankings fields, returns a promise of a pull, We'll check if the poll has started by first actually getting the poll because we don't want them to be able to submit any rankings until the admin started the poll. I don't know how this would happen with the client application, but it's a good design of an API. Then we'll check if the poll has started and or if it has not started. And in that case, we'll throw a common bad request exception and recall that we created an exception filter in this exceptions folder to convert normal HTTP bad request or internal server error exceptions into WebSockets exceptions if we're working through WebSockets. So let's import this from NestJS Common. And then we will call add participant rankings 
in the repository that we just created. Now let's go to the gateway. And we'll add our method at the bottom. So there are no guards on this. We'll just call the event name, submit rankings with the at subscribe message decorator. We'll get the connected socket with their token or authorization and get the rankings as an array of strings. And so we'll have a rankings field on a JSON body. Then we'll log that we're doing this, so we're submitting votes, and we'll call submit rankings with the poll ID and user ID extracted from the client token and submit the rankings that they'll actually send in the payload. With all that, we should be about ready to test this in Postman. All right, this is going to get a little, a little tricky and will be a lot easier once we actually have the client application. But for now, when we submit rankings, we're going to have to like manually copy some IDs. Anyway, let's first create a poll with player one who has token one, if you remember correctly. And so let's submit this. So let's say, where do you want to eat? Let's keep it simple. Each voter can have up to five votes. Let's just make it two for now. I guess that should be nominations per voter. I'm mixing terminology. Great. Let's then join with player two, join with player three, and then join with uh, player four. I guess I need to open player four. Let's move them to the end here. And we join with player four. Let's just check in Redis to see that we have all these players. Let's go to participants. Well, isn't that great? We have no, oh, we have to connect to get the participants. Let's now connect all of these guys. So let's go to client one who has a token one in their header. And let's make sure they're connected. And looks good. Let's do the same with this client. Connect them. It looks like they're connected. The poll was updated. Let's go to client three. And let's also connect them. And it looks like they got the poll updated. And let's go with client four and connect them. And then let's go into Redis and see if we have four different users or participants. Let's refresh this. For some reason, this refresh button isn't working right. And I don't know what it is, but we have player one, two, three, four with their IDs. Let's now go to each of the sockets. Let's start with the admin test client one and let's uh, close this so we can actually see and let's nominate something. Let's do shawarma shack. And it looks like they got an updated poll. That's good. And then let's maybe nominate Taco Bell. And the poll was updated. That's good. Let's go to client two. Uh, we're not ready to submit our rankings yet, but let's nominate. Yeah, let's go with Taco Town. Good. And then maybe uh, let's say Papa's Tacos. This guy only wants tacos. Maybe I need to escape this, but we'll see if it works. All right. Let's go to socket three. And this person will nominate, let's say, Habit Burger, Santa Barbara favorite. Send that, good. And then let's go to test client four. And let's also do nominate. And let's nominate Apollo Restaurant, local favorite here. All right. Don't stalk me though. Let's refresh this in Redis and let's see the nominations. And so we can see who nominated them. We should have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's great. Taco Bell, Taco Town, Papa's Tacos. A lot of, it looks like we're getting tacos tonight. A burger place, that's a good change. And Apollo Restaurant, which has a little of everything. Now what we're going to need to do is submit nominations and remember that our votes per voter in this poll is two. So each user will be able to take two of these nomination IDs and submit them in an array. So for the sake of simplicity, just to show that this works, I'm going to have everyone vote the same 
but later on, we'll actually look into making sure the rankings is working. But we'll use this ID and the other ID, uh, the one with zero VD. And we're going to submit rankings. And so we have this array with some rankings. So the first one will be that SDVT. And I forget what the next one was. Let's just grab a nomination here. Let's grab this minus EJ. I didn't know you could use minus in the nano IDs, but looks like you can. Let's close this. I really hate the postman screen size. So let's send. Let's see if we got any updates. So where do you want to eat? Participants, nominations, and we have this user's ID and their rankings. So that's cool. Let's maybe just do this for test client three as well. Submit rankings. Let's actually go to four and just uh, copy and paste this whole JSON object. That'll be easiest. Back to three. And we'll do their whole rankings here. Let's submit. Good. Let's just go to two. Let's also submit rankings. Let's replace that whole thing. Good, and let's do it for one. We're going backwards here. So let's shrink this. And it looks like I haven't defined that event yet. So let's maybe add a new one with submit rankings, right? Okay. And actually, let's do compose to make a new message submit rankings make this json so i guess this is a good review if you don't remember how to do it and we'll paste the json structure there all right let's look at the last updated version of the poll let's see if we have various rankings so those are the nominations and here are the rankings so you can see the various user ids to the rankings and let's check them out in redis json cool so there's each user and uh, their rankings that's all for today. Sorry for the tediousness of testing this with Postman, but I kind of wanted to do the backend application in full and not jump back and forth. Next time, we'll add the event to end or close the poll. The server will then do a very complex computation of ranked choice voting, and I don't want this to be a ranked choice voting course, so I'll probably quickly throw the algorithm out, maybe try to make a chart, but you're probably just going to have to trust that it's a reasonable algorithm, and me too. Maybe I did something wrong. So we'll work on that and then sending the results back to all the participants. See you then.